Hi, I just want to talk about um, our learning journey during the course of the ICTPD. Uh, when we started the program, at least 50% of our staff were not very confident with the use of IT tools. So the long, our long-term objective has always been that 100% of our staff would be able to look at IT and look at how it's used and be confident with it. And that's certainly been the case. Um, from 50% to 100% of our staff are now confident in actually using IT within their classroom. The other part that was quite important is how staff would be motivated by just simply using IT. And what this has done is allowing them to be able to structure their programs, structure their lessons so that students can access IT within the classroom. So there's been obviously a lot of shift from uh, where we had less confidence to a lot more confidence in the use of IT in our school. One of the uh, significant points I want to say about being involved in, a, in the contract is the, uh, the confidence of not only in the school but also working alongside other schools in the cluster. And, uh, and for our staff, this was also, also a great professional development whereby they were able to share with other schools and doing presentations when we had our mini conferences in the schools during the course of the time. And, and what that had done for my staff was the, you know, the, uh, the thought that, you know, that they were able to share with their own peers. And certainly from a professional development point of view, you couldn't ask for more of a, a growing uh, conference uh, among the uh, teaching profession. So where to from here? And that's a really important question when you're looking at how do we sustain the interest that our staff have had since the beginning of this journey. Uh, when we started the journey, we actually grew some of our staff who showed really interest in being involved with IT. So we've grown from one to three, and next year we're wanting to grow another three more. So part of the succession planning is about being able to grow the leadership or to grow the people with skills so that we're not indispensable. So we're hoping that next year instead of having three, we'll have five. And that's certainly the way that we've been operating in our other development, and this is the way we're approaching the IT development as well. I think it is important that we also reflect on what we've learnt and that's a really important task uh, for next year. I think that the idea of uh, having conversations around what is most important, but importantly what we have in our own classrooms. So some of the, um, uh, the material, some of the resources that we're wanting to be buying in the classroom will also be informed by what teachers are saying about what should be in the classroom as part of the tools for growing forward. So the sustainability is a very important part of the forward momentum uh, of IT in our school. I want to comment about the uh, way teachers are also using IT in reporting uh, to our parents. And this has certainly come a long way and we're seeing um, you know, teachers uh, looking at ways to improve are reporting to parents not only in comments but maybe looking at generic comments as well that actually captures what uh, the children are actually achieving in their classroom. And finally I think um, what has been my role during the course of this time um, was I wouldn't pretend that I was the best uh, IT person in the group. I, I, I was actually a believer that it's important that staff understand how accessing the um, IT and making it available to students is, is, is quite a key in today's world. And so my role has been about trying to facilitate not only the resourcing but also facilitate the staff, uh, you know, connectivity. And that has been quite a challenging given that uh, there is a very, uh, you know, staff vary from one to another and their skill levels are not always the same. So having said that, uh, it is important that the leadership of the school uh, do provide the leadership, in particular in areas of resourcing, uh, but more importantly, support as well. Pastoral care of our staff is another important part where leadership needs to be, needs to play a very important part. So overall, 
it has been a, an incredible journey for our staff and for our school and we're sitting, certainly uh, in reflection looking at how we're being able to connect with our community and our presentation uh, during the course of the last three years. Those are certainly being a real plus for our children and hopefully for our, for our school in the future. Thank you.